What's going on guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back today with another reverse diet diaries episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the previous one. I am a little bit behind on the uploading. I'm just trying to drag out when I publish all the videos because I filmed so much whilst I was away. There is at the moment three videos that are like scheduled to be published. So everything will be a little bit behind as compared to real time. But as of right now, I am two weeks post-show. It is Saturday, the 4th of November. So post-show hasn't exactly gone as smoothly as I wanted it to go. I have somewhat stuck within some of the rules I've set for myself. So obviously I am reversing myself this prep and it's a good and bad thing. It, it is a much harder thing. It is always much better to have a coach help you through this difficult time. But I am just focusing on keeping my stress and cortisol levels low and just fully committing to this new growth phase. My mood has been up and down and it's a little bit of like a post comp settling of thoughts and things like that. I still, as of right now, you know, when people ask me how I feel, how I went, like I'm, you know, after you go away to compete, you come back and you kind of have to face people and talking to them and they're gonna ask you obviously either how you went and some people just, some people at the gym they don't really know or follow as closely, they just see me at the gym and they just assume that I did really well cause I look so good and you know, even there was like this older guy at the gym that likes to talk to me and he's just like, wow, you've just like changed so much. You look so lean. Um, are you going to compete soon? And I was like, oh, like I already competed and stuff. And he's like, oh, you must have done really well. Like, aren't you sick of winning? And I'm like, oh God, I wish that was the truth. It's so far from the truth. And I don't really know what to say or feel when people say these things. I obviously, I'm really thankful for all the kind words. And, you know, sometimes I go into the gym and I feel kind of like, bloated and obviously I've put weight back on on my face like my body still looks okay whilst I'm training my midsection is not all there that's why I will be permanently wearing body suits <laughs> this grow season I think it's making me feel good it's like I'm filling out really nicely my shape is coming in really nice I've just I've just filled out nicely but the, the midsection is not what I want it to be and, and the face is not what I want it to be unfortunately these are the two areas I gained the fat in first and my water levels are definitely not back up to normal so my water levels have been fluctuating a lot because I've been you know, some days eating good, some days not so eating good. And like the food quality that I've consumed and the sodium is just inconsistent. So obviously because of that, some days I'll be feeling a little bit more bloated and water retention-y and, and things like that. My body is still adjusting to my new water levels. Obviously I could be a little bit better at, you know, also consuming water. So I haven't really been the best at focusing on that. But yeah, so that's how I'm going. I think I'm going okay. I, I... I'm so happy and excited when I'm like back in the gym. I feel so motivated and I have such good vision now of how much size I need to put on and like what I want and what I want to look like. It's made me very focused during my training and when I'm training, I feel so good and I'm like, I love to do this. Like, this is what I love. I love training hard. I love growing. I love this whole process. This is why I'm still doing what I'm doing. But this is the first time in a long time I haven't actually planned for my next show or when I'm going to be competing. Even when people ask me, I half joke about it, but I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll just never compete again. And half of me is telling the truth. Half of me is obviously not telling the truth because this is what I obviously, obviously love to do. But there is a part of me that's just like, maybe I just won't step on stage anymore. So yeah, that those thoughts do come to me. So I am struggling a lot with that and just feeling like maybe it's time to change directions. But regardless of what direction I hope to take with regards to actually stepping on stage, what I know is that I love my last off season. I love my last prep. I loved every single day of prep and working towards the goal. I love every single part of it literally the part i hated even when i was on stage i loved being on stage i loved doing my routine the part that sucked the most 
is when you're on the side of the stage and you don't get called out for like the first call out or second call out, especially when I was in Vietnam, I was obviously in, like in the last call out. And that was the only part that really shattered my whole soul. Not because of like, you know, anything else apart from like, wow, like as great as everything has been, as great as prep has been, as much progress as I've made and as good as, as good as I look, it is still not enough. And when will I ever be enough? And that is the part that sucked, you know? If we were more on like an even playing field and it was just like we were all equally good and I still got last call outs, I think that would be fine. It's just, I just knew when I got last call outs that it was because I'm just not there yet as much progress as I've made. And that's a scary thing. So yeah, I've been struggling with that a lot. So that's the mental side of things as much as I have been thriving in the last two weeks I've been also not so much thriving when it comes to little mental health moments where I just start to doubt whether I still want to compete or not but in terms of where I'm currently at with my recovery phase I'm feeling healthier and better I am sleeping good my bowel movements have improved they're not exactly where I want them to be yet I'm still working on it um, obviously still working on getting my period back it hasn't been a uh, second cycle yet so obviously I skipped the cycle so um, it probably will take two or three cycles to come back so I will be keeping an eye on that I've been you know back on taking my supplements I've been keeping my steps at a relatively good spot so I aim to do about eight to ten thousand steps a day is like my goal so i've been really consistent with that don't have to do any cardio i've trained six days a week and i'm recovering recovering fairly well from those sessions i have still found that like my energy levels are pretty low when it comes to um training but i've been getting insane insane pumps really really good mind muscle connection the strength is slowly coming back it's not all there yet and i'm not training to my absolute 100% capacity. I am training at a very, very high intensity still. So I am very happy with how all my training is going. So that's been good. So I guess the last thing to kind of touch on is basically how the nutrition has been. So yeah, last Saturday, obviously I planned a meal out. Last Saturday, I went out for Persian food. I had Persian with Tung Blake and Jeremy. We had an amazing time at Persian food. I really, Eat a good amount of protein and um, enjoyed myself in the meal and also held myself back a tiny bit even though I let myself kind of enjoy it I knew that I just kind of stopped slightly before being overly stuffed and I saved some space for dessert we went to get yochi it was so so good and again so once I was done with that how I know I've kind of kept myself in check is just kind of making sure that I'm feeling satiated but not full and stuff that's how i know it's like it's like a good point so did that on saturday weight didn't move at all so that was really good sunday i had dinner with my parents went a little bit more ham and a little bit more the dirty side with dinner with my parents i had kebab so i had a kebab and also some pizza and also some garlic bread so very much more on the dirtier side however i picked a really really good place this place that does kebabs near my parents house they're so like it's it's so kind of like homemade and homely it's just made so well and i feel like it's like a quality kind of like a kebab and pizza if that kind of even makes sense it's um i don't know the people there just make it really good they make it with love it just feels so homemade i love it i love that spot and then obviously my parents had some homemade asian desserts we went ham on that as well and then i think i came home and i had a little bit of ice cream and maybe like one little biscuit thing so it is against my rules my personal rules to snack extra after eating out but um, I really, I really kept a lid on that one and just, just had a little bit to, I guess, uh, fill my craving. So that was what happened on the Sunday. And then Monday, I was perfectly back on routine, nailed everything, um, hit about 1,500-ish calories. Super happy with that. Um, on Tuesday, same thing, nailed everything. However, my parents did drop off uh, 
some homemade curry puffs. So what I did was just, I kind of counted that into my calories. So I kind of made sure that I made room for that. Stuck to 1,600 calories that day. So that was really good. Um, Although on Tuesday, I had intentions of making it a lower day because I didn't train. It was a rest day, but I, my hunger was just building a lot on that Tuesday. I think it's because I went on like a coastal walk that morning or whatever. So my steps were really high. So even though I stuck to the parameters of um, the macros that I've set for myself on that day, it was still more than what like I had planned because I was like oh it's a rest day I should eat a bit less but I was so hungry so I just ended up eating as per normal um within the ranges Wednesday went a little bit ham so yeah Wednesday I wanted to go out and get pho so I went out to get some pho that was really good if I stopped there it would have been perfect but um yeah because we didn't go out for any dessert or anything i came home and probably did about 600 to 700 calories worth of dessert i had a mixture of like a different little cookies um some twisted ice cream um kit kats things like that so i estimated that whole day to be about 2000 so i'm somewhat still staying attentive to it but i do i do allow myself three times a week to eat out so that's why wednesday was like my first eat out day of the week and um yeah but i i should have i should have been a little bit better i knew i made a good choice picking fur because it's nice and clean i did like beef tendons and raw beef and um pho is just like really, really good for you with all the collagen and things like that good amount of protein although it's high carb but i would say it's fairly clean and healthy and within the parameters that i kind of set for myself so um yeah wednesday was a much much more higher calorie day Thursday, I definitely got back on track, which I was good and proud of myself for. Um, although I haven't really been eating as much clean and whole foods as I had planned, I have still stuck to the macro requirements. I think I'm going to be kind to myself and let myself slowly ease back in. If it's a good macro day, I'll just let it slide even if I do fit in some treats, which I have. So like on Thursday, obviously, I had some Pana organic ice cream, which is great, but I also had some like Asian ice gem biscuits. And um, yeah, so it's not exactly ideal or what I would imagine would be perfect in an ideal world, but Thursday was a good enough day for me. I was happy with that. Yesterday, had an amazing session with Tung and I was like, let's go out to eat. So we went totally ham post-workout hit up this bakery that i've really really wanted to visit for a long time i've never been there before so me tung and nam we shared like three different desserts we had like a cinnamon bun we also had a apple pie cronut which was so good and also a cinnamon bun cronut and then we had two sandwiches so we shared that although the boys definitely let me eat most of it because they obviously knew that i was just craving it all so hungry and uh, i was just having the best time and I, and I know they held back a little bit so that i could eat a little bit more so it wasn't a very equal divide by three situation <laughs> but um yeah so after that i felt so full i like literally didn't eat for the rest of the day until dinner so i mean again it's not ideal to do that but I think I overall yesterday hit about between 2,000 to 2,100 calories. So good news about the whole week is no major binging episodes. I obviously have had some good days and I have stuck within my goal of keeping it to three times a week eating out. So obviously I ate out for the pho. Yesterday I went to the bakery. Today I aim to be absolutely perfect, which is going to be a little bit hard because I've already consumed a lot of calories. I'm really hungry today. And, um, but you know, we'll see how that goes. And then tomorrow I'm going out with my friends. We're going to be having some pizza. So I'm going to be going ham on that as well. So yeah, that's how I've been going. I don't think it's going too bad. It's just obviously, um, not perfect as to what I would have wanted to being able to achieve this week in my reverse, but 
mentally going good in terms of like you know i have been a little bit more food focused and that's why i have allowed myself those three funerals a week to try and slowly get rid of the food focusedness and i'm sure over the next couple of weeks i'll be less and less food focused once i start to like tick off things off like my list that i'm craving and just be a little bit kinder to myself when i'm like eating at home and i tend to maybe reach for or maybe if i get a little bit creative and do some fun stuff using more like artificial sweetness and stevia and things like that or just having a little bit more processed stuff than i want to i want to eat 100 percent whole and clean but you know if i can fit some processed stuff here and there and it can help me be a little bit less food focused and more compliant i have allowed myself to do that so with regards to weight saturday uh after the first cheat meal we were 44.4 very good and then sunday after going ham on the pizza and the kebabs i was 44.9 to so gain a little bit of weight there on monday even though i was perfect on tuesday i was still 44.9 so still holding really high up there and then um tuesday again being pretty consistent and even though it was a rest day wednesday my weight dropped back down to 44.7 I was really happy with where I was at on Wednesday. But yeah, like I said, since Wednesday, it hasn't been good. So after Wednesday with the pho and the major snacking, we weighed in 45.1 on Thursday and then it continued to climb. Even though I was back on track on Thursday, sometimes my weight takes like two days to kick in. So straight after the day of like eating out, it's probably, it doesn't like spike that quickly. And then it like spikes the following day. So that tends to happen. So Friday, all time high of 45.3. And then obviously, uh, despite that, I still hit up the pastries and all that kind of stuff. I regret nothing because that was the best cinnamon bun I've ever had in my life. It was so good and I had a great time. And it was post-workout, which was like the perfect time to have it. I really smashed out a delt and arm session with Tung that day. So I think we, I think we deserve that one. And um, yeah, so today in the morning, despite all of yesterday but i think it's just due to the lower food volume and i managed to also poop in the morning prior to weighing myself i was 45.1 so in the grand scheme of things i'm still about two kilos above my stage weight probably a kilo and a half above like where i was hovering peak week so not too bad i am sort of feeling a little bit uncomfortable with how i'm looking especially outside of the gym but when i'm training i think i, I look great so when I'm training and feeling full and still being able to see definition and things like that, and I'm really still liking how I look. But um, we're taking each week as it goes. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's reverse diet diaries. If you do, please like the video and comment. So I will continue to keep you updated on how I'm going um, with regards to this reverse. It's only two weeks in. My goal was to really be really, really good because I'm going to Japan in December. So I also have a bunch of things coming up. My cousins are coming to visit from Queensland. So I do want to eat out with them. It's my mom's birthday coming up as well. So I'm trying, trying, trying really hard to like be good with regards to not only sticking to my calories, but eating high quality whole foods, eating less processed foods and having less snacks really and yeah so that'll be my goal for next week i will continue to strive to be really good on the days that i told myself that i will allow myself to still eat out two to three times and make good choices when i'm eating out and not overindulge and obviously don't go into a binging spiral which again thank god i haven't been in yet so yeah apart from that feeling hungry so it's time for my next meal now so i'm gonna eat that and I will continue to keep you guys updated as long as you guys um, want me to, I guess. So do let me know. And I will catch you guys in the next one.